Avatar. We welcome you to Vancouver. Yay! Yay. Hey, I'm Jason with Eat Vancouver. Welcome to the 9th Annual Eat Vancouver at the Vancouver Trade and Convention Center. We are here annually and also in the Fraser Valley in September this year, September 16th to 18th, so come check us out there. All about uh, food and cooking and everything for your kitchen. We've got celebrity chefs, we have cooking competitions happening this year, and uh, over 300 exhibitors that have uh, new products and opportunities for you to sample and buy. So uh, definitely come check us out for next year, and if you're able uh, for the Fraser Valley Festival, September 16th to 18th at the Abbotsford Trade X, we look forward to seeing you. Thanks so much. I'm uh, hanging out with my friend Mass and I wanted to let you guys know that uh, our heritage is from Germany and we're here now, mygardenfootprint.com, putting on a great show. Thank you. We're, we're, we're an online we're an online community focused on the local and sustainable movement within BC. Check us out at mygardenfootprint.com. <laughs> Daniel, ich komme aus der Schweiz. Ich bin in Kanada seit zwei Jahren. Wir haben hier eine deutsche Franchise. In Deutschland heißt das vom Fass. In Kanada läuft es unter Crescendo. Der Grund ist, weil wir nur Gewürze anstelle von Alkohol verkaufen hier. Wir sind äh, located in Revelstoke. Das ist ein kleines Örtchen am Fuße der Columbia Mountains, 8000 Einwohner und sind äh, im Moment daran, ein zweites Geschäft zu eröffnen in Kelowna im Okanagan Tal. Wir verkaufen 60 verschiedene Balsamic-Essige und Öle und etwa 70 verschiedene Gewürze. Zurzeit sind wir in Vancouver, an der Eat Vancouver und freuen uns natürlich, dass wir vom deutschen Fernsehen aufgenommen werden und so ein bisschen Reklame machen können. Which one you like the best? Um, I only tried one. Can I try more? Which one? Yeah, you can try everything. Really? Oh, hi! <laughs> hi, well, we are here for the Global Chef Challenge. The Global Chef Challenge is a competition organized by WAX, the World Association of Cook Societies. And uh, we have the semi final here for the Americas. So we have competitors from Chile, from Ecuador, Canada, USA and uh, hopefully uh, Canada will win as well. We are also going to Germany next year. Uh, I manage the national Canadian team and we'll be competing in Erfurt, Germany next October. Guten Tag, Nick sprechen Sie Deutsch. So I will do my best to say it in English. Uh, welcome to Eat Vancouver and the cheeses from Switzerland Pavilion. Today we have some cheeses from the German speaking part of Switzerland. And we also have here the Appenzeller, which is actually the number one selling Swiss cheese in Germany. We also have Gruyere, which has been aged in the cave, which we call Kaltbach. And it's aged in the cave for nine months and it gives it a wonderful uh, flavor profile. And from the French speaking part, we also have Tête de Moine, which is an 800-year-old tradition cheese, and we shave it into little flowers called rosettes. This is from the Neuchâtel area of Switzerland. It's an excellent presentation for your dining table. I say Auf Wiedersehen to you, and you should be able to find our cheeses in many specialty stores in the greater Vancouver area. Guten Tag.
very good day to the Ahorn viewers. Uh, my name is Yara Guy. I am the sales and marketing manager for the Antigua and Barbuda Tourism Office. And I just wanted to welcome you to Antigua and Barbuda. We're here at the E Vancouver Show where we're bringing the islands of Antigua and St. Vincent to your viewers. We're introducing you to the very tasty delights of our Caribbean islands. The German market has been a very strong market for Antigua and Barbuda in recent years, and we really look forward to welcome the Germans back to Antigua and Barbuda, where the beach is just beginning. We have so many experiences that your viewers can come and experience on our 365 beaches. So there's a beach for every day of the year. Delights. We're a division of Citadel Maple Syrup Producers Cooperative, the largest producer of maple syrup in the world. We ship our syrups all over the world. Our shop is in Gastown, 385 Water Street. Uh, we do a number of different products made out of maple, including syrups, jellies, butters. We have cookies, cotton candy, and even a selection of savory items. We have salad dressings, spices, salt, all sorts of wonderful, wonderful products. We have many visitors from all over the world, all across Europe, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, France, everywhere in the world. Um, we have four shops. The one in Vancouver is the only shop we have outside of Quebec. Our three Quebec stores are located in Montreal, Old Quebec, and the Montreal Airport, the Trudeau Airport. We also have in-store bakeries, and in our bakeries we serve croissants, cookies, muffins, and all sorts of other treats, including coffees. We do any kind of coffee that you would like, cappuccinos, lattes. We have a selection of teas as well, including our very own maple tea, which is a black tea with the essence of maple. Um, we also do maple cosmetics. We have a full line of beauty products all made with maple. And one thing that people don't know is that maple is actually very good for you. Out of the kinds of sugar that are available, maple is one of the only sugars that has a number of minerals. You can get potassium, magnesium, iron, calcium, and it's also a very rich source of antioxidants, second only to the blueberry. So maple syrup is actually good for you. So as much as it's sweet and it's a treat, it's an excellent source of vitamins as well. This is rice. I put that rice this here, and yeah. behind the machine there is a little bit of sugar and salt and water, okay. and a little bit of flour. We mix them together, oh, yeah. and we put there. And this one is press the raw rice and heat. You can see the degree. It's a 226. It's very hot. Yeah. And we press two times, and it became pan like a popcorn. It came flying out. Yeah. Just simple rice. Yeah, just simple rice. Same. And you put that in there. Yeah, yeah in there, and just. This machine pressed two times yeah. and hit very wow. hard, so yeah, it's a little dangerous, I know. Yeah, it shoots so it We off. cover this place. <laughs> and it's very healthy. Yeah, it's very healthy because we know it, we don't have any chemical things, we just have flour and sugar and salt, and most of them is rice, yeah. so it's good for health. In yeah. Korea, we usually this one when we're watching movies or what, instead of popcorn. Yeah. Well, if you want, you can put ice cream or other stuff on this cracker. Okay. Yeah, All sure. Right. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Hi, my name is Mark McKenzie. Hey, I'm Aldo. And we're from Urban, Urban Cultivator. Cultivator. This is our one of our products here called the uh, Commercial Cultivator. It is uh, for growing products in your restaurant or your facilities so that you have the zero mile diet available to you. Now, you have four levels to grow in this unit. It's temperature controlled, uh, it's humidity modified, auto watering, auto lighting. It's got proprietary technology that's very innovative and we're extremely excited about this product because all the problems that we've been having with our food supply, this solves it. This brings it to your home. This is uh, our urban cultivated domestic model and um, <clears throat> we're really hoping that a lot of the high rises here in Vancouver are going to take on a model like this. It's just like your dishwasher 
um, you plumb it into the mains water and uh, obviously plug it into the electricity. And how it works is it automatically distributes all the water to both levels so that your plants grow. It gives it light. There's an onboard computer here where you can program everything. And obviously the idea is that you pull the trays out, you put them right onto your kitchen counter, harvest your crop, and bon appetit. We came down just to go to eat and we will be coming back next year. Had a great time. We're leaving full, very full. Well, yeah, we're all very full, but there was a lot of good things to be had in there. Yeah, we had a great time and it was definitely worth coming. The cost to get in was really economical when you think about all the food that you actually got to sample from all over the place and from all over Canada. Yeah, a lot of organics and natural. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah, we didn't go to the cooking shows really, but uh, we went to the cheese seminar and that was very informative. Very good, yeah. I yeah. see. So you w would you come back next year? Yep, definitely. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah? With empty stomach. Empty yes. stomachs <laughs> and empty suitcases. Yeah. <laughs>